All right, what's going on? Happy Wednesday. Here we are with a, uh, a very, very special video today. We're gonna showcase a product that I've been eagerly anticipating for well over a year now. Um, we'd first seen it at the Con Ag Expo, uh, yeah, coming up on two years ago now, actually. Getting pretty close to that. Anyhow, what it is, what it does, scenario like this where you're set up, and those of you that work in areas with a lot of terrain can relate to this. Um, you set up on a, on a hard surface, like an asphalt or con concrete roadway, or just some really, really hard ground. And you end up with something like that. And the swivel foot on the outrigger is like this, which is not ideal. It puts a lot of load, a lot of side load on the outrigger, a lot of, uh, a lot of force in directions which you don't want. So what is the solution? Well, you grab a 4x6, grab a 2x4, grab a sheet of plywood, whatever, and try and create a level pad or level area for your pad. And you always end up inevitably with voids under the pad or it's just, it's less than perfect. It's tough to achieve a perfectly flat pad to set that foot on, right? So what we got here, what is the solution? What is the solution you ask? The solution is right over here in the ridge line. The level right pad from Dica. What it is, it's a two piece pad. This is a 24 inch round version. This is the 30 inch round version. The 24 inch round is bolted together. And you go like this. It's got the level right on it. You adjust until, oh, oh. Forgive me, I'm near these pads. You adjust until you get level, just some, something kind of like that. I'm still learning these things, so cut me a little bit of slack. So that's a one piece pad with a bolt through the middle. The 30 inch pad is a two piece. It just lifts apart like so. And it locks together. All right. Just like that. So we're gonna try, I'm gonna throw one of these under the front here. And, uh, and see what we can do, see what we can do for level here. Here we go, magic levitating concrete pump. Abracadabra zickety zam. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. That's what I love about X-style outriggers. Situation like this, the back. We'll hold the front up so you can build your cribbing, mess around, do whatever you gotta do. Anyways, let's see. Let's see how this works here. Try and get this pad right level. Boom, how about that? Dead nuts. Well, let's drop our outrigger down on this. Oh, it's a beautiful thing. See, so look at the load capacity for these. The ground pressure. Got everything marked right on it. I think we'll adjust this a little bit. We'll 
twist that pad a little bit to get that foot level. Try something like that. There we go. It's an amazing thing, folks. Now, I don't know if I would run the top pad on top of this, we'll just try with the top pad. I think that's how I would do it. I would do the top pad on top of the level right pad. That's my opinion. But look at that. Perfect, perfectly level. So we've got the 36 inch round pad. And then on the back here, let's play around with it. On the back here, let's play around with the 24 inch pad. I'm gonna get rid of that that little low spot. Perfect example of rock hard ground that's uh, a total biatch to level. Even though it's not asphalt or pavement, it's still a total, total PIA. Do something kind of like this. Okay. Put our pick back. We got the 24 inch pad here. All right. here we are all leveled up it was a bit of a learning curve it took a little bit of playing around to get it uh, to get it the way that I wanted you can see we're, we're pretty damn close to dead nuts level with these first impression for the front for the larger size pad Unless I had a machine with a larger size outrigger foot, like I know like um, like the Alliance uses a really big outrigger foot on it, um, I would be tempted to use a top pad on top of this. Uh, for the smaller size pad or the 24 inch round, um, I think it's just fine and skook them without that. Now the only thing I'm thinking is using the top pad, I like that my, my top pads here have the recessed, uh, recessed circle to lock the foot in, so I would I would probably still use the top pad on top of this. It's just kind of for demonstration, demonstrative purposes here. Um, but yeah, these are going to be super handy. I think, I think for this size pump, I'm going to say the 24 inch would be the go-to for us. That's the one that we would leave on the pump, I think. 
and then for the bigger pumps like the 47 and larger um, for those ones I would be tempted to go with the 30 inch and they also have these pads in a uh, 30 to 35 or 36 inch diameter as well um, so that's another option but I, I think the 30 is totally sufficient it's here it is a good solution for hard surfaces or using a shovel to level the ground out for the pad is not uh, not a viable option. Uh, it is a good solution. So I got these from, um, they came from uh, Test Right, Test Right Rigging in, um, they're in Shimanus over in Vancouver Island. They're the, the Dyka dealer for our region. So I got those from, from Wayne over there. Uh, these can be ordered directly from Dyka as well. I'll leave a bunch of links and uh, in the description obviously and probably up on the screen at the end of the screen, all that kind of stuff. One key point with these is that they will level within 10 degrees. Within 10 degrees is the range that these pads will level here. So uh, generally we're not setting concrete pumps up on more than 10 degree slopes anyhow. Otherwise to get level the hopper is already pinned into the asphalt anyhow. So totally sufficient for our application. But yeah, 10 degrees of leveling range on these. Okay, so preliminary decision, the 24 inch level right pad. That's the one we're gonna keep on the pump at all times on this 38 meter. And the 30 inch, I might keep it on the new 56 or we might just keep it at the yard and uh, it'll be used uh, as per needed. But yeah, I think the 24 inch for this size of machine, I think that's gonna be the one. That's my my preliminary findings, but stay tuned. I will let you know. Like I said, this is just kind of a, uh, I, I just picked these up. So I was eager to try them out. Um, you know, it's a controlled environment, not the, uh, the ideal scenario so much to showcase them. But uh, just to kind of give you an idea of what they're all about, we'll definitely get these out on some future videos and, uh, and put them to the test. We have the level right pad from Dyka. Stay tuned for more. And uh, big thanks, big thanks to the folks at Dyka for uh, another great product and hooking us up so we can, can field test these and showcase them in some videos. And, uh, and we'll see if they're, uh, they're everything that, I, that I've uh, hoped they would be as I anticipated them for the past few years here. So. Here it goes till next time. One of these, one of those. Keep on pumping. Subscribe, buy a t-shirt, blah, 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 blah. Uh, we'll catch you guys on the next one.